Good Sunday morning, it's October 3rd, 2021. Appalachian Trail southbound hike day number 60. Whoo! Yeah, stayed at the Way Way Yonda shelter. I saw Steady Stream, who was at the shelter the day before, and a very generous guy, Mike, who is section hiking, who let me recharge some of my stuff with his spare battery pack. So thanks, Mike. Much appreciated. Um, it's a nice day. A little warm, a little humid today. It's been getting slowly more humid over the past few days. Uh, I'm gonna be hitting the stairway of heaven and either staying at the secret shelter or the high point shelter, depending on how my legs feel. Going to Georgia? Good morning, sir. Yes, I am. Good luck to you, man. Thank you very much. Okay. That's my plan. Maine to Georgia. Let's see. Hopefully by Christmas time, that'd be a nice present for my family to be back and be done and enjoying Maine. Be a big day ahead of me today. 20 plus miles. Let's get her done. Well, I didn't realize it until I was about halfway done that I was on the stairway to heaven. Which is just kind of like a rocky stair steppy section that's pretty familiar to New Hampshire, but I guess it probably stands out out here in New Jersey where everything's flat like this. But there was a bunch of day hikers coming up it. But now we're on some flat walking for a while. This doesn't look like the trail. I'm at the Heaven Hill Farm. It's like a fall festival going on. I got myself a meat stick. Nice little detour. No corn dog. They were out of them. But I got me a meat stick All right. and an empanada. All right. How was the empanada? Pretty good. Are they good? Yeah, the beef empanada. Yeah, I'm going to have to get one for lunch. I haven't had any yet. I usually bring my lunch. But yep. Have a good one. Yeah, you go. Check out this thing. Ooh. Spooky. <laughs> I'm a sight right here. Ooh, it came with a piece of bread. Almost got hit by a car. I'm pretty full up on fair food. Mitch's hot dog stand was open. I decided to walk over there. And man, that guy has got some words of wisdom that he imparted on me. It's not about the destination, right? It's the journey. My journey has been filled with a lot of great interactions with people like Mitch. Nice to meet people that seem to talk to your soul. People that you can recognize. Meet them where they're at. I'm really glad I talked to that gentleman. All the cows over there. Did it say don't approach the cows? Probably says don't approach the cows. Don't approach the cows. I won't approach the cows. I really want to get closer to the cows, darn it. 
Just gotta take a picture from here. Bye. I already had a slight disposition towards the state of New Jersey and today is not helping. There's ridiculous amounts of black flies, like worse than Maine in June. And every time I stop, I then get swarmed by mosquitoes. And I'm on this trail and there's just rocks just high enough out of the ground so I keep bashing my toes. And there's no sights, it's just walking through the woods. Just pointless walking. Not having a good day. Not very happy right now. But I'm embracing the suck. And swearing a lot. Well, I'd seen this section on the map and I didn't quite know what to make of it because it had a bunch of hard right 90 degree turns. So it's like a giant field that I got to walk around. <laughs> Guess it's not so bad. I guess it's kind of a little disappointing starting my AT hike up in Maine, going in the 100 mile wilderness, going through like what I considered kind of northern Maine areas, then hitting the White Mountains, and then now I'm hiking in this. <laughs> I don't really feel like hiking, it's just like walking. It's a little bit less adventurous. Still seeing things, still meeting people. Just has a little bit of a different vibe to it. Hearing planes and crossing roads and... It's all part of the journey though. Just walking around a bog. <sighs> Having all kinds of bugs jump on me. Although it's Sunday, it kind of feels like a Wednesday. Essentially, this is my day job. I haven't taken a day off, or I guess I've worked, worked for the past two weeks. I think it definitely starts to take its toll on you. It can be daunting knowing that you have hundreds of miles, over a thousand miles to keep walking. I've been out here almost two months and I'm not halfway done. I'm very proud of what I've done and how far I've come. I'm very glad to have seen all the things I've seen so far. A loud bug. I just think it is a mental game. It's physical, you gotta walk. You gotta carry all your stuff. You gotta find water. You gotta fend for yourself. But ultimately, you gotta live with yourself for a long time. And I know for me personally, I get trapped in my head and I just go in circles with my thoughts. And sometimes it's not that helpful. And it's kind of hard to disconnect from your own head. More loud bugs. But now that I say that, I think it's helpful to deal with these low tough spots teach yourself how to get out of them. I think it may come easier for some people to figure out that they're in a bind and that they need to change their thinking. 
for me, I'm pretty self-aware, I think. I think I'm self-aware. I don't know if that sentence makes sense, but... I usually can gauge when I'm starting to get upset. And I need to remind myself to calm down. Take a break. And just soak it all in, right? Look at this view. giant expanse of nature. I'm just a solitary creature out here navigating through it. Trying to figure out what all this means. What I want from it. It's a little turtle. Hey little buddy. What are you doing? Sometimes you let a laying turtle lie. I don't know what I'm saying or if I even really said anything that made sense, but. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you taking the time and the energy to sit and watch this, experience this with me. Maybe it helps you with stuff that you're dealing with to watch me deal with stuff. Well, today felt like a Wednesday, even though it's Sunday. Passed through Unionville, decided to stop at a very fittingly named Wits End Tavern. Had a couple beverages. There was a northbound flip flopper there, Bullet. We chatted for a little bit. I'm about a quarter of a mile from the secret shelter going through this lovely bog with all these lovely fall colors I do not advocate heavy drinking but sometimes one or two beverages can just kind of help you out a little bit and I feel like I'm in a better mood right now ready to call it an early day this is 18.7 miles, kind of booked it through the mid-afternoon, so I'm ready to just relax tonight. He's looking for food, you know. Hey buddy. Yeah. So you've been well? Um. Hey. Hey. What are you doing? Can I say hi to you? No, you eating. Check out these digs. I got a cabin all to myself. Knock on wood. Hopefully no one shows up late. But yeah, I'm in the secret shelter. Thanks to Jim, who's the owner of this property allows hikers to stay here. It's an old school cabin. And this lovely property off in the distance is Jake the donkey who we saw earlier. It's pretty sweet right here. I'm gonna make some dinner. <laughs> 